believer in Christ who operates with objectivity, competence and efficiency. This is the woman set to become the country's next public protector. And without a doubt, she has large shoes to fill. While other parties raised concern, Mkwebane emerged as the candidate with the most support across parties. We are appointing her to an institution, a well-established institution, which has got rules and established practices and independent investigators. And if she tries any shenanigans, the institution itself will expose her for who she is. And that's what makes me to be comfortable to recommend her. Her experience as a senior investigator shouldn't be overstated, as it has been by some members of the panel. It is not an independent decision-making position in the Office of the Public Protector. Um, and it also is not a managerial position. So she doesn't have any kind of track record for management. Um, if the legal experience of Judge Wiener is found to be wanting, uh, then certainly the legal experience of, of Ms. Mkubani must also be found wanting. But one of her first tasks will have to be winning the public's trust. Since July 2016, she has worked at state security as an analyst. She has also held a position at the Department of Home Affairs as Director of Country of Origin and Cooperation Management. And she also served in the diplomatic space at the South African Embassy in the Republic of China, just to name a few. And now Mkwebane will have to escape Tuli Madonsela's shadow, whose tentacles stretch as far as the highest office in the land. And the entree of expectations from South Africans is already overflowing. I'm hoping that they're, they're going to do even better than Utuli Matonzel. She was basically there to protect the country. Well, I would hope she would do as good a job as the last public protector, Tuli Matonzela. She was honest and reliable and she upheld what the people needed from her and she held everyone accountable that needed to be held accountable. Matonzela vacates office at the end of October. Chris Alda Lewis, SABC News in Johannesburg.